Hey everybody, this is Michael Ralph and I want to talk to you very briefly about aseptic technique. There's all sorts of different equipment that you can use where you need to use aseptic technique. I'm going to show you a few of the basics. The first thing I want to show you is using solid media or plates. Any equipment that you use is going to be contaminated the moment it touches anything out here in the lab with us. So this is contaminated, even just holding it out in the air is going to contaminate it. So you need to sterilize all of your equipment before you use it. So let's say we give this an ethanol bath, we flame it, and now it's going to be sterile. All of our plates are closed so that they can be uncontaminated. When you are ready to work with the plate, make sure you flip it right side up and you want to unattach all the tape holding it closed. Once it's open, you don't want to open it before you're ready, but now it's ready to be worked with. You don't want to sterilize any equipment until the moment you're ready to use it. So this should be sterilized or any pre-sterilized equipment needs to stay in all the packages until the moment you're ready to use it. So the moment you're ready to go into a plate, you open it, you keep it covered so that you don't breathe on it, so any outside contaminants aren't falling into it. You do whatever work you need to do in the plate. And then when you're finished, the top goes right back on and the tape needs to be replaced immediately. That way you give it minimum exposure to the environment. The second thing I want to show you is working with pre-sterilized equipment. You can see that I have two kinds of pipettes and they're both in packages. These packages, when they're sealed, means that everything inside of them is sterile. That means when you're ready to work with them, you want to leave them in the package and leave them sterile until the moment you're ready to work with them. So if I want to use this pipette, you open it just like a band-aid, leaving only the top exposed. That means everything inside of it is still uncontaminated. So open it, attach your pipette pump, and then the second you're ready to use it, take it out. You don't want to touch it. You don't want to wave it around. You don't want to hold it with it outside the container longer than you have to. Just in, move your sample, and then immediately right back into the container. Just because this is back in the wrapper doesn't mean it's sterile. That's just the safest place to keep it. But this is now contaminated. It can't be used for anything else. So set it aside. The same is true for hand pipetters. Open it like a Band-Aid, out, immediately do what we need to do with it, and then immediately right back in, but this is now contaminated and cannot be used again. The last thing I want to show you is working with sealed test tubes. If they're sealed, they can still be sterile, but the moment you take a top off, this is now contaminated and can no longer be used. That means we want to use things like parafilm to keep them sealed as long as possible. The name of the game here is always minimize your exposure. So we don't want to expose anything unless we have to, and even when we do, you need to be careful because contamination is your worst enemy in the microbiology lab. Good luck.